Hey, what's up, people? Hopefully everyone's doing well. It is Friday, November 11th of 2022. Um, somebody commented on one of the posts about getting Death Road to Canada um, installed. Um, luckily enough, the game has been ported. Um, so I'll leave the links down below. As always, remember, people, you need the QBridge update file. I'll leave this link down in the description below the GitHub. Um, along with letting you know that Auto Plugin 2 will update the file itself for you. If you don't want to download this manually and just um, toss it into um, your PlayStation Vita. That's all, right. That's all you have to do. You don't have to like enter the code, the line of code, because you already have it in there. So you just got to download this and then manually um, drag and drop either through the FTP or the USB method. So... I got everything downloaded. I got the download VPK um, already right there. Here's the files you need. Also, before I forget, you're going to need this um, this file right here. Now, if you don't have this, use this guide. Um, you're going to need um, the PSM. Now, you're more than welcome to follow this guide, but... Somebody actually created an automatic way to do this, which is great. So you just download the VPK, install it like you're installing anything else, and just it'll do everything for you. So, other than that, um, let's get started. It should be a very quick and simple video. Hopefully, you guys will follow along and understand, and uh, we'll go from there. So, I'll boot up the PlayStation Vita and go from there, guys. All right, once you boot, booted up your PlayStation Vita, you want to scroll down to wherever your Vita shell is. You want to enter the Vita shell. Next, you want to hit the Start button. You want to go down to where it says Select button. Now, move the D-pad over left or right, doesn't matter, to FTP or USB, whatever method, method you prefer to use uh, to transfer files over. We're going to be using the USB method, so we're going to leave it as that. this. Next, you want to plug in your USB cord to the either your desktop or your laptop to the PlayStation Vita, and you want to hit the select button. So since I don't have my um, the wire plugged into the my laptop, I'm getting this message right here. So once I plug my wire in, we'll be all set. So I'll see you over at the uh, my laptop again. All right, we're back on the PC side of things. What you want to do now, you want to go to your File Explorer. Oh, I forgot to hit the... Uh, there we go. I forgot to hit the button. My apologies, people. So this is what it looks like on your SD card under in the Vita shell. What you want to do now is go to the Data folder. You want to drag and drop the Canada folder over. This is going to take a few, like a minute or so. Also, if anybody has a Steam Deck and wants a protective screen, let me know. I'll send them out my uh, the spare one that I got from Amazon. Free of charge. Also, if you like the channel and want to support me, um, the PayPal link is down below too. It's totally up to you guys. Next, you want to go down to your VPK folder. If you got one, you don't need you don't need one, but just keep things nice and neat. There you go. Next, to be safe, you want to eject um, the PlayStation Vita from the USB drive instead of just unplugging the, the wire from the laptop or desktop to the PlayStation Vita to avoid corruption. Always eject. I keep, sometimes I forget, but um, to be on the safe side, please eject. That's it. And I'll catch you over on the PlayStation Vita side of things, people. All right, we're back over the PlayStation Vita side of things. Um, I'm going to show you that the files got transferred over. We're in the UX0. Go to data. There's the files you need. Let's go down to the, the folder and install this bad boy. It takes a few seconds, which is two, but let's take 20 seconds. Next, you want to Hit the triangle, you're more than welcome to delete it or save the file, just in case 
I don't know, a company comes after the person who ported the game and decides to take down the VPK folder, I mean file, at least you got it for a backup, but I could care less, so I'm going to delete it. Next, you hit the start button, and what I like to do is I like to reboot. Um, you're more than welcome to hit the uh, PlayStation button, which is right there, and swipe out, and then start gaming, but I prefer to reboot um, for new installations, but it's totally up to you guys. All right, from here on out, I'm going to shut my mouth and I'm going to play a little bit of the game so you guys can see that it wasn't video trickery. The game does work and run. Um, so if you like, if you like, dislike, if you dislike. And I'll catch you in the next video, whatever that may be. Don't forget to support me if you'd like. You don't have to, but it does help. It takes a little while to do these videos, to edit them. It's just me, myself, and I. I noticed these video game videos videos do a lot better than my car stuff which is fine all right hope you guys enjoy <laughs>